Howdy folks, welcome back to the homestead. We've been getting some inquiries from you guys about what inverter we use in our off-grid power system. So today we're going to take it down, open it up for a look inside, go through all the amazing specs and features that this device has, that has us convinced that it's the best value for money inverter on the market today. So this is the Conversol A9. It's a three kilowatt hybrid inverter to suit a 24 volt system. It's sold by a company called Volticon Solar who are based in Coventry in the UK. And this unit retails for 684 euros, which is great value because it is jam packed full of features like Bluetooth connectivity and control. It's got a built in solar MPPT controller, a built in battery management system, and it's even got a battery optional mode, which means it can work without batteries at all, taking power just from the solar panels, the mains, or a generator, or a combination of all of those. There's so much to talk about in this little unit that we're gonna break it down into sections, starting with the basics. The control screen is removable and extendable through an ethernet cable, so you can take this out and operate the unit remotely from anywhere in your camper van or your house, whatever. It's an LED screen and all systems and parameters are fully adjustable and controllable through the different menus here and the buttons. To disconnect the control panel, it's dead simple. Small connector here that you gently remove. Another one here that you gently remove. Casing comes off easy, there's only a couple of screws around the edges holding it in. Wow, look at that. It is spotless clean in there. This machine has been in service for over a year and there's not a speck of dust in anywhere which shows that these gauze filters around the fans really do work well at keeping everything clean. The transformers are all toroidal transformers which are much more reliable and efficient than the old box type transformers. Now it's a 3 kilowatt inverter with a 6 kilowatt surge capability. It operates 230 volts with a 93% efficiency rate and it operates on a pure sine wave. I have to say the battery management system on this device is awesome. It's compatible with a number of different batteries such as flooded lead acid, AGM, lithium ions and pylon tech batteries. It operates 24 volt standards, got a float charge range of 27 and overcharge protection of 33 volts and also has the option to connect an external battery management system for the lithium ions which just connects into the bottom of the controller here and all you have to do is change the settings in here to operate that system. It's really good. The maximum solar charge current is 80 amps. It can take 4000 watts of power. Operates in a range of 120 to 450 volts DC with a maximum PV array open circuit voltage of 500 volts and its efficiency is 98%. And it's got lots of cool smart features like it can run the loads directly from the array or it can split power between the loads and charging the battery so we can run the loads and charge the battery bank at the same time and it decides what way to split the power so it's a really nice piece of kit. One small feature I forgot to mention is that it's also USB compatible through this micro USB slot here on the go and it's programmed for CAN bus communication or USB on the go communication where you can download or upload data as you choose. So next we're going to put it all back together, get it back into the system and I'm going to do a demonstration of the battery equalization cycle, which is essential if you're adding new batteries to your bank or if you're starting off your bank for the first time. Okay, so that's now the inverter fully connected and back up and running again. The next thing you'll need to do is to re-equalize your battery bank. Over time, some of the cells can get pulled down. Some might discharge faster. They might charge at a different rate. That accumulates over time and can end up pulling the entire bank down if they're not getting an equal level of charge. How you test this is with your multimeter and simply go along testing positive to negative cell by cell or battery by battery and if there's any differences there then you will need to run an equalization cycle which is a great feature with this device is that it has that automated and built in and you can set it up to be timed at regular intervals. So now that these two new batteries are added into the system the earth for the entire system now comes off of this guy and the positive just loops across to the end of the chain. Now I understand that that looks a bit gammy, but it's the exact same length as the rest of them, so there's no resistance difference between any of the pairs. Next we go back up to our inverter. We've removed all loads at this stage, 
and we are going to go down to option number 36. All the way through the menu. So ADS means activation disabled. So you want to go, we're looking for AEN. Not giving it to me, okay. So let's go back to battery equalization, which is option 30. And it's set to equalization disabled. So now, equalization enabled. Let's go back to number 36. Oh, before we do, equalization voltage, 29.2. So let's go back to 36. Now it allows us to change it to activation enabled. Press escape to go back. So what's gonna happen now, if there's enough sunlight left in the day, it's gonna bring the system voltage up to the float of 27. You can see E9 is flashing there now. That means equalization is enabled. It's gonna bring the charge voltage all the way up to what you've set it to, which in this case is 29.2, I think it was. And it'll equalize out all of the batteries. Here's a graph of how it works. So it brings it up to the bulk charge voltage, allows some absorption time, drops down a little to the flow charge voltage. Once the flow charge voltage is achieved for a certain period of time, then it pops it up to the specified time for the equalization voltage. I'll just hold that on screen so you can read the text. Okay, so that's the equalization cycle there, running away for the next 120 minutes, rebalancing all the batteries and keeping them all in tip top condition. Now, so far it's all been good news, but there's one piece of bad news. This particular unit here, the A9, can't be paired with other inverters, which is a bit of a drawback. However, Volticonsolar.com and Conversol do make lots of other units similar to this with slightly different specs that can be paired up to about 27 kilowatts or so. I might be wrong on that, so do go and check out their website. They've got a great range of stock there and they've got something for everyone at great prices. This Conversol A9 we believe, because of the wide range of features and everything it can do, is the best value for money inverter on the market today. And I want to say a big thanks to Jason and Serena who introduced us to this company. Without them we'd know nothing about it and would be using more expensive, probably inferior bits of kit and still having problems to this day. So a huge thanks to them. I hope you found this video helpful, I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to tune in next week for more great content and until then, I'll see you guys later. Do take care of yourselves out there.